Okay, so being creative is obviously not easy. And especially if you started out, it could be very hard to, you know, get used to all the stuff that you can do and cannot do. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys what you can do, what you cannot do, what you should do, and everything related to being custom within your maps. So let's go right into the video. Okay, so I want to start off by showing you something, um, how you can easily customize stuff and then you, how you can even step up that customization a little bit further. So here we have the normal you know, castle thing, the normal castle tower. It is the one that you can just spawn in. There's nothing changed in here. Uh, I just added the, the floor here so to make it fit to all the others. And you can see it looks okay, it looks decent, it looks nice, but it's you know nothing special. It just looks like normal Fortnite. So if you go over here with a few customization, you can make your tower look very custom and look very, very nice and neat. And people will, you know, not really realize that, but it gives your map that little extra touch. So for example, you could, you know, place iron bars in the windows. Um, you can add, um, you know, corners, which, you know, stick out, give the, give the wall a little bit more depth. Uh, you can add custom doors, which you can make out of all things that you just came to your mind. You can add like uh, pillars on the floor. You can, you know, add snow at the side, which looks like you know there's actually snow laying to the to the walls of the of the castle. You can add all that little detail, but just you know, it doesn't take long. And I can say this probably only took like two minutes or so to add all the stuff to this tower and make it improve by a lot. So it looks more custom. It looks more nicer. Uh, but obviously, you can step that up even further. So for this one, I obviously used a different gallery. The reason for that is because this is the haunted gallery, which has a lot of very cool assets, which can make a building look like very, you know, fallen, like very old or whatever. And, you know, for example, I used here a lot of the broken pieces to create a, like a broken wall. And then I put a, a you know, a, just a floor piece, which, are, which is sort of wood behind it. So it looks like they tried to repair it or whatever. And then some, you know, broken pieces on the floor, which is also the same thing as this one just on the floor, put it into the floor, then some random pieces around the area, some grass, some growing here, some 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 leaves, and put some lighting in the window so it looks like a little bit more spooky. Uh, put a custom top on it so, you know, it just looks a little bit more detailed and a little bit more like yours. Like, you can give it your own style, obviously. And obviously added some iron bars, like as in this example. Okay, and obviously by any means, this is like, creative top tier building, right? This is just a basic build for most of the top tier creators. This is just for an example on what you can do and what you should do if you want to really step up your game in Fortnite Creative. And with that being said, let's give you guys some tips and some inspiration, which is actually the whole point of this video. And uh, you know, let's dive right into it. If you want to make custom walls, you want to try to put basic and basic together to make something advanced. So for example, we have a very basic wood, uh, stone wall here, which I use in this as well. And for example, if you put something like this arch here, this wooden arch or whatever this is, if you put it in here, um, you already have some kind of decent wall right now. So if you just put it here, it already looks like a lot more advanced, right? So it looks a lot more detailed. It has some depth to it. It is different. If you would, for example, start off with a wall which already has a lot of details and a lot of stuff, it could look a little bit overkill, which you try want to try to avoid. You want to still make it look realistic and it should also make sense. So for example, if I put in this wall right here, which can look very nice on other things, but if I put it in here, it kind of looks odd. It, it doesn't really fit. It's not really like meant to be there. Uh, and that's what you try to avoid. So um, try to look for fitting stuff, um, which, you know, looks just nice and clean and looks realistic. You don't want to overkill on that. So for example, you could take this piece here, which is obviously meant to standing like this. And if you just turn it around, uh, it first of all makes doesn't make any sense, right? But if you put it inside this wall and just put it so it just fits perfectly with the, with the other piece together, it just looks nice. It looks like a, another wall, just another creation of the wall. And you can play around with basically all the stuff in creative. Uh, you don't have to limit yourself to stuff that is just meant to be like this. So for example, this piece right here, which is uh, from the, I think from the yard gallery. Um, if you just put that one and just flip it around again, and uh, just put it inside each other like like that. It kind of looks dumb, right? It doesn't really fit. Um, obviously you should make it fit like actually here. So it looks a little bit you know off, but if you just go here and just maybe you know, place it a little bit down, it kind of looks like a window. And now if you go for, I don't know, maybe this piece right here, you know, place it inside it, 
scale it a little bit, obviously. Something like this. Oh, it looks like a very cool window. It looks like uh, it could also be an aquarium or whatever. It just looks nice. You have to be creative with that stuff and don't think of stuff as they're meant to be. Just flip them, turn them, scale them and do whatever you want with them. And obviously you don't have to limit yourself to walls only. You can use floors and you can use all kinds of other stuff which are not meant to be as walls, but you can use them as walls or you can use them as decoration for walls. So if we go here, take this piece and um, if we just you know, rotate a little bit. So now it's looking like a wall. Obviously it's not really fitting the wall style here. So what we can do about this? Yes, we can obviously scale it down. So where's the, the thing here? So let's scale it down a little bit make it fit with the wall. Okay, that's inside the wall, that's not what we want. Six and a half hours later. Make it look like this. And now it looks like a very cool piece of wall. Um, obviously you can, you know, fine tune this. This is obviously not very perfect because for the sake of this video, but you get the point. You can use basically everything as a wall. For example, you can use this one, which is a floor piece from the, I think the Art Deco Gallery. And um, if you just turn it around and just scale it down a little bit, like let's say like this so it's like kind of fitting the wall style here right like this and if we just place it down if we just add some pillars on the sides it looks super nice and this was a floor piece so don't limit yourself to just wall pieces that are meant to be wall pieces use everything that you can that you think looks nice as a wall piece and obviously you don't have to limit yourself to things that should be on floors, walls or whatever. So this is a couch. Uh, yeah, I know it's a couch. Uh, and you think, well, Richie, you cannot make this a wall. Mm, you can. So if we go here and just flatten that thing a little bit and then we turn it upside down or like, like this, right? And then I'll we'll scale a little bit. Obviously we, we want a little bit bigger wall here, scale it up. And now, as you can see, we have some kind of wall, right? So this was a couch before, if you don't remember. And you can use this for like, I don't know, like a, a fun house wall or whatever. So if you put them like next to each other, something like this, these can look very nice in like, you know, fun house maps or, you know, parkour maps or whatever. Just be creative with stuff that you can think look good. And don't be afraid to try out stupid stuff that, you know, you know, how can this be a wall, right? This was the sofa before. So how much more stupid it could get? Okay, so I have one last thing, which is uh, how to fill out windows. And there are three devices or three props, which are super nice to use for that. The first one is the, the glowing cube, uh, which you can obviously use for windows, like so they look like there's like light in there, whatever. You can use this from a distance at best, I would say. Um, they look really nice on like, you know, very long range distances um, but even short range it could look very nice so um, you can use them for like lighted windows Um also this one is very nice obviously in this example it looks kind of shitty because <laughs> obviously castles did, did not have windows but if you have for example like modern windows or whatever you can use also this piece which looks like a super fine reflecting window it has a little bit of a weird reflection which is kind of an island or whatever but you know, it looks super nice. And the other thing which I already showed you is the objective device here. So this looks more for like spooky. And the cool thing about this one is that you can actually turn it on and off with uh, triggers and with channels. So you can have a lot of options and remember, just be creative. Okay, so for the last one, I have some custom worlds which I made, um, which you can obviously get inspired by. You can use them as well if you want to. Um, but keep in mind, you should, you know, do your own stuff, experiment with that stuff and get better with it. So. Um, this is just um, the gold piece here, uh, just get out as the gold cube and then some railings at the bottom. And nothing too special here. And um, this one you already saw, you know, just the, the two pieces flipped together and then put a, a objective device behind it. So this is the same same principle, just two pieces, then put the, the, the iron grid thingy here and just some, some railing on the top. It looks like a super high tier fence or whatever. Okay, so this one is really cool because this one uses the uh, the light that we just saw, um, but it also uses a different technique, which you know, you know casts some light on the floor, which uses actually this piece from the, um, I think Tilted Dark Gallery. And if you just place it, in, you can see there's no like light on the floor right now, but if you place it inside of this thing here, um, like this, you can see there's actually some light casting, which looks like even more realistic. Yes, players will probably not notice this, 
but it just gives your map that little extra touch. So for this one, just a you know a floor piece flipped around and made it as it was, so you can walk through it. It's like a secret entrance. Also put a little piece in here, so um, it looks a little bit more realistic, so that you know it's not cut off. Like if you would have like this, it would look very cut off, and it doesn't look really nice. And then added some pillars in the sides to make it look more nicer. So this one here, these are actually roof pieces, which you can you know find in I think a lot of galleries. You know, just make them as a you know square or whatever, just put a, a dancing floor in, inside of it. It can look very nice. This one is the same one without a dancing floor, just a clean wall, I would say. Just put some pieces inside. Here's an example of the um, the the window, the reflecting window. Here's just some iron bars instead of a low wall. It also looks like very nice, like a very nice fence. So this one is like very custom, like there's a lot of stuff going on here. You have some some broken wall pieces here, you have some floor, you have some dirt in the background and some you know, leaves. But it just looks very nice. Obviously you don't want to overuse them like at, like multiple times because that would look kind of shitty. Um, but they're super nice to use in like, especially in old builds or whatever. So this one is actually from a good friend of mine, which is called Not Furry. And I just saw that in his medieval build he made, which I thought was really cool. So he used this mechanic where he just, you know, flipped them around like this. I think he already has them like this, which looks even better, I think. And then just put a white wall behind it, which looks very nice in the medieval stylish uh, things. Same as here, like with the wall, I already showed you this. So this one is from the Art Deco Gallery, and I just put like two, you know, corner pieces, and I put a put a pink neon light from the ring gallery in the middle, which looks kind of nice. Same thing over here, just flipped around these two pieces, put a wall behind it, and then just some neon lights on the sides, which can look very cool in uh, like discos or whatever. This is a floor piece, just two, some two pillars at the side. These are actually fences, which are meant to be like, uh, like, wait, wait, like this. Uh, just put like next to each other, you know, merge them together and then it looks really nice as a like a construction side of thing. And this one is uh, because this gallery actually do not have like very small doors. So I scaled down this door, put it inside the door again and then put a little piece here uh, to make it fit and make it look very nice. And that is it for the video. Hopefully I could give you guys some inspiration. Um, hopefully you can, you know, make your own custom walls now. And um, obviously, you know, show me the walls, link them on Twitter, uh, whatever, you know, add me in your walls, add me in your builds. And um, I'll see you guys in my next video and, you know, keep it clean. See you guys.